Hi, boys and girls. I'm going to read to you my very favorite Valentine book um, called Love Splat. It's about a black cat named Splat. And it was written and illustrated by Rob Sconton. Splat stared into the bathroom mirror. A worried Splat stared back. His heart drummed and his tummy, tummy rumbled. He straightened his whiskers, ruff, ruffled his hair, and brushed his teeth. Today he wanted to look just right. After all, today was Valentine's Day. Splat had made cards for everyone in his class. He also made a special card for a certain cat in his class. Kitten. She was snowy white and had pea green eyes, and Splat liked her more than fish sticks and ice cream. But whenever Kitten saw Splat, she pulled his ears and poked his belly, tied his tail and called him Smelly, and then she'd run away. Why does she do that? Splat sighed. And Seymour, his little friend, just shook his head. Splat practiced his smile one last time and left the bathroom. His family wished him a very good morning. He ignored his breakfast and gazed at the little red envelope. On the front of the envelope in Splat's very best writing was a single name, Kitten. Splat tucked the envelope in his bag and left for school. His tummy rumbled loudly all the way. He was so bu busy telling his tummy to be quiet that he didn't even see Kitten coming from around the corner. Splat! He bumped into her. And when he tried to say sorry, his tongue turned to jelly. His legs wobbled like rubber and his tummy rumbled louder than ever. This happened every time he saw a kitten. Kitten gave Splat a funny look. Then she pulled his ears and poked his belly, tied his tail and called him Smelly, and ran away. Why does she do that? He sighed. Seymour shook his head. Later on in cat school, all of the class swapped their valentines. Splat sat on his desk, clutching the little red envelope. I'll give it to her soon, he said to Seymour. But soon it was recess. Splat sat, sat quietly on a bench, still clutching that little red envelope. He didn't even see the cat sneaking up behind him. Boo! cried Spike. Splat jumped and dropped the little red envelope. Spike picked it up and read the name on the front. Hey, I like Kitten too, Spike announced, and I like her more than you do. But I like Kitten this much, said Splat, and I like her this much, said Spike. Aww, groaned Splat. Splat pulled out a piece of chalk from his pocket and drew a heart on the ground. Well, I like Kitten this much, he said. And I like Kitten this much, said Spike. And he drew a heart around the whole playground. Aww, groaned Splat. I've made Kitten a special Valentine's card, Splat said. You call that a card? Sma Spike said smugly. Aww, groaned Splat. It's not fair. Seymour just shook his head. Splat's card looked teeny weeny next to Spike's and with a sigh he threw it in the trash. Kitten opened Spike's card. The message inside read, you are so lucky to like me. Kitten smiled and Splat didn't. He just turned away. Splat didn't see the snowy white paws lift the little red envelope from the trash. 
or the green PIs read the name on the front. Kitten took the card from the envelope and opened it up, and in Splat's very best writing were three little words. I like you. Oh. Kitten sat down next to Splat and gave him a little pink envelope. On the front of the pink envelope was a single name, Splat. Splat opened the envelope and on the card was a rhyme. Your fur is so soft and I like to stroke it. You make a silly noise in your belly when I poke it. Your, to your tail's so bendy it makes me laugh. And you smell real nice when you just had a bath. Inside the card, inside the card in Kitten's very best writing were three little words. I like you. Oh, look how happy Splat is now. Oh, look. Here's Kitten's white tail and Splat's black tail and it makes a heart. So cute. You're going to make a Valentine um, for Valentine's Day.